Hi guys, so what I've got here is a little tutorial and it's how to get 240p out of a modern NVIDIA graphics card, so one where you're outputting either um, DisplayPort or uh, HDMI, um, and then taking that 240p and, and outputting that via RGB SCART um, to go to a uh, uh, SD um, CRT television, and doing this without introducing any lag. Um, and so there's two kind of major issues with common ways of getting, uh, or maybe easy ways, of getting a um, an analog signal uh, out of a computer or converting that digital signal into an analog signal. Um, the first one is the introduction of lag. And lag comes from when you've got a frame buffer. So when you're scaling a video from a larger size down to a smaller one. And so if we're outputting... Um, you know, we want to output 240p. If we're not outputting a 240p from our source, we're going to have to scale that down. And boxes like this, you'll probably find videos online um, that say, oh, you can use a box like this to, to connect a computer to a, a CRT television. Um, this box in particular takes a VGA input. So you can, you know, you can get VGA quite easily from converting um, HDMI to VGA. We'll talk about that in a bit. Um, and then this one will output S video and, and composite. This one will actually take um, any uh, video signal, uh, any resolution, and then scale it to, to the output. And this comes into our second problem, is that often these devices output 480i and not 240p. So if we're playing a classic console, such as a Mega Drive, a SNES, a PlayStation 1, um, often we'll want 240p out of that. That matches the original Resolution. So, if you're emulating that on a computer, um, we want to get we want to get 240p, not 480i. Um, another way of getting uh, an analog video signal out of a out of computer is to use kind of an older graphics card. So, we'll see here we've got this port here. You can get S video straight out of the graphics card here. This is a um, an NVIDIA uh, GTX 285. Um, something I had and I was using to output output um, S video. Again, without fiddling with the drivers, typically that will output 480i. Um, another way of outputting 240p is to use um, something I'm not actually very experienced with, uh, is, but I've kind of seen, is to use, um, I think, CRT uh, MU driver, uh, which typically I think uses um, an older uh, ATI graphics card, or a ATI, um, AMD ATI, are they ATI or AMD? They've become AMD, right? But um, we're ATI. But an older graphics card that will output VGA, and then you can get you can get 240p out of that. That is a completely valid way. You can get 240p and not introduce lag. And what I'll show you here is how to use a modern uh, graphics card from NVIDIA um, and output 240p from that. So... Well, what we'll come on to, we'll have a look at the NVIDIA control panel. And the NVIDIA control panel enables custom resolutions, which is great. But those custom resolutions are still coming out of either um, DisplayPort or, or HDMI. Um, and so what we're going to have to do is take that 240p signal out via one of these digital forms um, and convert that to a uh, an analog signal. But as I said, we want to do this without introducing any lag. So we want no boxes that are going to scale. Nothing got, that's got a frame buffer. So the first thing is actually one of these converters I've got here. So both of these are um, digital to analog converters. I'll just move the SCART cable there. Um, both of these will take, in this case, it's a this is the display port to VGA. So in a second, we'll talk about video signals and, how, and what we're doing to convert them. So firstly, we're doing this, this conversion. So our digital video signal and outputting an analog one. But an old television that runs in, you know, an SD television that runs in either, you know, can receive either 480i or 240p over SCART, VGA is a typically a 31 kilohertz signal. So we need to convert that signal, um, or it's a not just that it's a 31 kilohertz signal, but it has different components. And we'll talk about the components of that video signal in a second. So we need to convert this VGA signal into the RGB SCART signal. Um, same with the, the HDMI adapter here. So these sorts of 
uh, DisplayPort or, or HDMI to VGA adapters are pretty commonplace. If you get one from a kind of reputable laptop brand, these are often bundled with laptops because they, um, you know, people might use them in in conference rooms and things like that if they want to project, um, particularly if that room has an old old projector. Um, these do vary in quality, but you can get ones that are um, retain uh, the picture in, in terms of pretty high quality, um, and and typically these are, are are lagless as well. So next, talking about the video signals. So out of a you know standard uh, VGA signal, we've got the different components of the um, that analog analog picture. So we've got the three colors. We've got RGB, um, and then we've got a sync signal as well. There's two sync signals. We have horizontal sync, uh, horizontal sync, and and vertical sync. Um, and so there are actually five signals that are separated out into separate separate cables. Um, and this is why a, a VGA monitor can run much higher resolutions than, for example, you can get over, over SCART because each of those signals is separate and running over different, different cables. And if they're shielded, not interfering with each other. And so you get a nice, nice crisp picture and you can run VGA. You know, I've got a CRT PC monitor that runs 1600 by, by 1200, much higher than a sort of 640 by 480 that you might get out of a, a, out of a um, SCART cable. So we've got RGB HV, um, but if we want to output uh, SCAR, we need RGBS. So the S stands for sync, and that's a um, combined sync uh, or kind of composite sync um, where the H and the V are now combined into a single sync signal. So there are four video signals coming out of the VG uh, coming out of the um, SCAR cable going to the television. So our first digital to analog conversion is happening via one of these little adapters. Then we need to combine that sync signal. And that's where a box or a box or a little uh, circuit board like this comes in. So I actually bought this for my mister, Mr. FPGA, um, to output SCART from that. Um, but I realize you can also use it for um, converting that PC signal, that VGA signal, into a RGBS um, to output over SCART. So this VGA to SCART board, you can buy them for about twenty pounds. This is a um, design by um, Mike Chi of, uh, of RetroTink, um, who's made then that design open source, and you can buy. You know, you can either build it yourself or find people who will who will sell this. And I, I bought this on eBay. I think as I said, it was about twenty pounds. Um, what this does is it takes a VGA input. You can also give it a um, an audio input because SCART can carry both video and sound. So we can give it video and sound, um, and it will combine those sync signals, the H and the V, into a composite um, composite sync signal to output over SCART. So so the whole chain is basically we're going to output 240p using the NVIDIA control panel, which we'll look at in a second. Um, convert that digital signal. Um, I'll probably use this adapter. This is the display port to VGA. We're going to output VGA. So we've now got an analog signal, but then we then convert that analog signal from RGBHV to RGBS. And that RGBS, then our TV can, can, can recognize that. And we can display a picture from PC or modern PC onto a, um, an old CRT, mm -hmm. CRT television. So yeah, let's now go to the uh, NVIDIA control panel, and I'll show you how to how to configure that, um, and then hopefully we can demo demo it working. Okay, so we've got everything hooked up, and you'll see my television uh, there. Um, it's a Bang & Olufsen um, CRT television, and at the moment you can see it's just displaying a garbled picture because it's not receiving a signal um, that it can display. So I've got the cable connected up. So we've got the um, display port to VGA connected to the uh, my NVIDIA graphics card. I've got a um, GTX uh, 1060. Um, but you know any any kind of later uh, you know currently supported NVIDIA graphics card, I think will work fine with this method. So we've gone display port to VGA via the adapter. I've then got a VGA cable that's kind of running um, to the left of me. And that's then running to the VGA to SCART box. And that VGA to SCART box needs a micro USB 
power supply, um, which I've got hooked up, and then um, the outputs SCAR, and that goes to the television. Um, we see in the uh, NVIDIA control panel that we've got, got open here, I've got three monitors connected. The one here is uh, the one I'm showing you, which is my um, VGA CRT PC monitor. Got a flat panel here, and then this one here is our, our, our television. At the moment, you see it's been sent 1024 by, by 768, a resolution that the um, television can't display. So we're going to go to Customize here, um, and what we're going to do is add a custom resolution. Firstly, we're going to enable resolutions not supported by the display, because at the moment, the computer doesn't really understand what, dis what resolutions um, our television can, can display. And then we're going to go Create Custom Resolution. So here, there's a, a few settings. You can really configure this quite significantly. Um, we're going to put just basic 240p. So we're going to change it for, to the horizontal to 320 and the vertical to 240. I've seen some people when they're doing this um, talk about kind of super resolution. So having much higher horizontal resolution. Um, my television doesn't seem to want to handle that, or maybe I'm not configuring it quite right. Um, but we're just going to give it standard 240p, 320 by 240. Um, the sort of this timing bit, I've had the most success when I've changed it to um, CVT reduced blank, and then and then stuck it on and kind of manual, so I can then edit these. So the any of these presets you set to kind of changes the numbers. Um, there's things like this front front porch, um, which I don't fully understand what those numbers mean, um, but we can get it to you know I've been able to get it to work. The total pixels here um, is something to bear in bear in mind. This is the total number of pixels that are being sent to the sent to the um, display, and so you can change this. Um, fortunately, with this television here, I can control things in the service menu reasonably reasonably well. But hopefully, this this will now this will now work. So if we go test, so that's going test, and you'll see. Um, behind me, not that we can see very well because we're capturing a CRT, um, a CRT via the via the webcam. Um, I got a message come up say, you know, are you sure you want to use this resolution? I went okay because we've just done the test, we've not set it, but we saw that we did get a picture on the TV there. Um, it was just showing the the desktop, so we'll hit okay, and now we see this custom resolution appear here. Um, a, a, a note what I think is possibly a slight bug with the NVIDIA control panel when I kind of you know we can select this and we can change to it if you disconnect the display and reconnect it sometimes this custom resolution doesn't always appear I found if you go to customize and you just edit it and you change for example you know one pixel on the front porch or something like that um, and then test it it will then reappear in this in this menu and it becomes becomes selectable so it seemed a little bit fiddly so we're now going to go to apply um, and you can just about see there on the television um, that we've got we've got Windows, and so here's your desktop configuration has changed. Would you like to keep these changes? Yes, because it looks like it's working. Um, and so now what I'm going to do is um, boot up uh, a an indie game, um, and then we can have a look and see that we're getting nice proper 240p uh, out of this computer. Okay, so here's the TV, and you'll see we've got the 240p output here. I've um, fired up Darkula here from uh, Loco Melito. Um, and, and yeah, that is it. So if I zoom in, if I go a bit closer, we'll see that, yeah, this is proper 240p. It's not, it's not, um, not 480i. We haven't got any sort of flicker on the, on the, on the text here. Other than my television having seemed a bit a bit of a bounce at the top of the screen there, and the uh, geometry is probably not as good as it could be, but such is life with uh, these old TVs. Um, and and to be honest, the camera the camera doesn't do this do this justice in in um, in person. It looks really sharp and 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 nice on the on the old CRT here. Um, and so for particularly modern uh, kind of indie indie games that basically are designed as if they were playing in 240p um playing on on old tv like this or you know something like an arcade monitor i i think that's a, a great way to play these these old classics or the 
modern takes on the old classics. Um, so yeah, hopefully this has been uh, useful to people. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know if there's any way I could be doing this any better. Um, but yeah, I, I I think it's useful, um, and I'm I'm intending to to play more games uh, on my old TV straight out of my PC. So yeah, you guys stay safe, and I'll catch you soon. See you then. Bye. Thank you.